so local network versus target network local queue network and target queue network is a design choice in deep queue learning to improve stability and convergence of training so in local queue network we update the network actively during the training and this network is used to predict the queue values for the current state okay so local queue network predicts the queue value for the current state whereas in target queue network the network updates less frequently than local queue network to provide stable targets and this is used to compute the target queue values for the next state during the training let's understand that with an example but before that we'll talk about bellman adaptation bellman adaptation for deep queue learning so we compute the target queue value using this bellman equation so this is the queue target s and a s stands for current state and a stands for action r stands for the reward this is gamma the discount factor this is the queue network s prime is the new state and then a is the action in the new state so on the current state agent takes an action a on that action agent receives the reward r and then agent lands on the new state s prime then again on the new state agent can take all the possible actions and we will pick the action that gives the maximum reward so this is in future in the next state multiplied by the discount factor which determines how much importance is to given the future reward the gamma value lies between 0 and 1 we generally take the gamma value as 0.9 so again on the current state s agent takes an action a for that agent receives the reward r and then agent lands on the new state s prime on that new state agent can take any of the possible actions we will pick the action that gives the maximum reward multiplied by the discount factor add it to the reward that becomes the targeted q value for the current state so this is on the target network so let's take an example so imagine in the snake game this is the snake this is the head of the snake and this is the apple okay so the current state the snake is one step away from the food okay action is move up so snake will go up reward plus 10 for eating the food next state after moving up snake is in the new position so head will be at this position right now q values for s prime so s prime is this state snake can go left right up and down and these are the predicted values for each action for going down there's a negative reward because the snake will hit its own body if it goes down so negative reward so we'll compute the target q for current state which is this and for action going up immediate reward is r 10 let's say the discount factor gamma is 0.9 so we'll pick the maximum q value for the s prime so we'll pick the maximum among these so that is 3.5 so we'll pick 3.5 discounted future reward this is multiplied by the discount factor so this will become 3.15 so targeted q value would be 10 plus 3.15 is 13.15 so this is how the targeted q value is calculated now let's understand where the local network comes into the picture on target q network we'll compute the target q value and on the local network we'll compute the expected q value so for the same state s and for the same action we compute the targeted q and the expected q both on the different network and then we'll compute the loss and the objective is to minimize this loss so we back propagate this loss to the network and network will adjust its weight and biases accordingly so you remember this diagram so this is our network right so in the output we'll have the expected q values in the local network and target q values in target network 
So we'll compute the loss and we'll back propagate that loss to the network and network will adjust the weights and biases accordingly to minimize this loss. So let's go back to the slide. So in reinforcement learning, the target Q values is derived from Q network itself. This is the Bellman adaptation, which we just discussed. So imagine if we use only one network, then we'll have to use the same network to compute the current Q values and the next state Q values, the targets. Then network updates itself using its own rapidly changing predictions, which can lead to oscillations and divergence in Q value estimation. So oscillations using a single Q network for both action selection and target estimation can lead to overestimation of Q values. So basically you are using the same network to predict the values and based upon the prediction, you will update and predict and update. So network will update rapidly and that can lead to overestimation of Q values. So solution is the target Q network serves as a fixed reference for the target Q values and it updates less frequently via soft update to ensure target values change slowly and stabilize training. So how do these networks interact? During training, local Q network predicts Q values for the current state to determine the best action or calculate loss. The target Q network predicts Q values for the next state to compute stable target Q values for loss calculation. The soft update ensures the target Q network gradually incorporate updates from the local Q network. Now let's understand how soft update works. So we have a local model, the neural network actively learning. Then we have a target model, a more stable network. And we use something called interpolation parameter, a factor between zero and one that controls the update speed. So we gradually update the target model and that update speed is controlled by this interpolation parameter. So if the parameter is one, the target model immediately copies the local model weights, that is hard update. And if you use a very small value, let's say 0 0.01, then the target model updates very slowly, blending in only 1% of the local model parameters at a time. And we are going to use 0 0.01 as the interpolation parameter value because we want our target model to updates very slowly. And this will be the equation we'll be using. So parameters of local network multiplied by interpolation parameter plus one minus interpolation parameter into parameters of target network. Here we can see if we take the value one, then one minus one. So this entire part will become zero and the target would be equal to local. So that is the hard update. And if we take interpolation parameter as 0 0.01, then this is 0 0.01 times local plus 0.99 times target. So 99% of target parameters, 1% of local parameters. So we are blending in with only 1% of local model parameters. Now let's implement the soft update method. So function soft update, and this will take local network. Target network. So for local params. So in this line, we have combined the parameters of both the networks into pairs so that they can be updated together. So for example, local parameter is W1, W2, W3, and target parameters are V1, V2, V3. Then after combining, the pairs would be W1, V1, W2, V2, and so on. Then target params dot data copy. Then we will implement this function. So interpolation parameter 
into local params plus so this is the right part of the function and then we'll copy it to target params 